However, one, I decided not to do the atomic numbers because the atomic numbers are boring and no one would like the video and they would probably have lots of dislikes. So, I'm not going to do the atomic numbers. We're on the final step already. So, what we're going to do is we're going to label the periodic table using um, different, like, the words families and groups are. It's not going to be just that. It's going to be, like, different things. So, here we go. So, first thing we do is this is straight right here. Let's make three squares. All of them will be for something. It's going to be halogens. It's going to be noble gases. Other non-metals. Then we just make a parenthesis. It says non-metals. Then we're going to make one, two, three... Four, five, six squares. There, all of them will be for something. This one's alkali metals. This one will be alkali, alkaline earth metals. This one will be transition metals. This one will be post transition metals. So it'll be length uh, oh, <laughs> lanthanoids. So it'll be actinoids. So it'll be metalloids which is not a metal it's a, oh it can be it's a semi metal which means a metal or a non metal so i'm just going to make a parenthesis here this will be metals so yeah metalloids has no category oh you probably can't see it sorry about that there we go this looks good right there oh no it doesn't yeah, it's probably, that's a good. I'll just move it around. Right, so the first one will be, so we're going to get prints out. We're going to need 10 different colors. So, first one we're going to be doing is the non-metal for halogens. You probably know what those are. Many people probably do. So our first one will be halogens. We're going to make them we're going to make them all um, this color right here, which is, which is corn flour. So I'm just going to color that in. Pretty hard to see, but yeah. The halogens are all this. For some reason, I always do the halogens first. That's okay. Next one is noble gases, which I'm going to do wisteria. The noble gases are this family, family number 18. As you can see. Other non metals. And other non metals, I'm going to make them. I'm going to make them yellow green. So, as you can see. Hydrogen is on the other side of the zigzag is on the other side of the zigzag line, but it should be separated. But I didn't do that. I should have done that. But just to keep in mind, so it's going to be carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, and selenium. So yes, this zigzag line is used to divide up the metals and non-metals. However, that's all the non-metals, so, but we still have boron, silicon, arsenic, and tellurium. Oh, that's okay. I'll show you why. We still have those. Now on to the metals. Alkali metals, we're gonna make them, um, we're gonna make those, um, there it's a yellow. Dandelion. Get yellow. Which, the alkali metals are, right here, lithium to francium. 
There we go. Now we're gonna do alka alkaline earth metals. It's just gonna be this. I wanna make it atomic tangerine. Okay. You can kind of see it, but yep. So now on to transition metals. Hey, I like making the. I like making those. Uh, not maroon. Maroon's a bad color. I like using the color gold. <laughs> the color gold. That's funny. Because gold is a transition metal. So we're not we're gonna we're not gonna make the transition metals in the fifty seven to seventy one because that's not those those are the lanthanoids and actinoids. So yeah. No, oh, this is terrible. Um, oh no, it's okay, I guess. My coloring isn't the best. So at least we know what we're talking about. So yeah, the transition metals are going to go from here to here. We're not going to do the 57 to 71, we're 89 to 103. We're going to go all the way to the edge where this part is. So yeah, families 3 to 12. Ignoring 5771. All of it. Size 5771 or 89103. So, yeah. Now we're on to post transition metals. There's not much left. So, what we need to do is we're going to use the post transition metals. I like to use the. I like to use the color. Which color is this? Isn't it? I'll just use. Antique brass. This is it. I don't know why I like to use it. But yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna do all these. It's aluminum to unentrium. Um tin, we start at tin, not germanium. Tin to fluorovium. Bismuth to ununpentium and livermorium. There we go, those are the post transitions. Okay, now we're on the lanthanoids and actinoids. Now what I basically do with them is just use, um, there we go, I got gray, and, no, hold on a second, I'm going to, I'm not going to use silver, um, I like to use the color brown, yeah, there we go, I'm going to use the color bittersweet. For the lanthanoids, I'll use the color bittersweet. So I'm not gonna make it sideways. So I'm just gonna color it in. Oh, no, it's not a good idea. And that's just that. We also have to um, color in the 57 to 71. As you can see. Now on to the actinoids, which I said I'd make it gray. So, let's just do the 89 to 103. And this part down here. Okay. All we need now is the metalloids. The metalloids, I'm gonna make them. Um, what's it called? Asparagus. So you can see if you can't really see it. Metalloids. Boron, and then the rest of it would be a metalloid. All of these. You can see those are the. This is not done, not yet complete. Still need to. I build the periods and the families. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So you can see it is complete. The periodic table is complete. And yes. I did not look at any other sheet of paper. I did not look at any website. I'm not looking at anything. I just, I did this all from memory. I did it just all. And yep, this is the periodic table. You can see it's labeled and everything. And that's what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed my other my series. And thank you all for being patient. If, and I might make some more Rubik's Cube videos. I'm not sure. And the 2x2, two two, I'm not sure when it's... Like, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. But I think it's going to be at, at the end of December. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Bye.